I'm gonna show you the basics of how to replace a roof. We will go from here to here to here. How many people want to burr, house hack, or buy an apartment building and don't know anything about construction? Therefore, they miss out on great opportunities because they don't know how to properly estimate the cost and they're unfamiliar with the roof stall and process. Does replacing a roof scare you or will it stop you from acquiring a burr property? Look, just climbing up the ladder scares me. I'll have to climb up this, this ladder. I ain't done that in a while. This strapped up here? Okay. Oh Lord Jesus. Well that's okay. When I purchased my first two family, I didn't even know how to paint. I mean, how can you screw that up? Apparently I did. Overall, I don't want you guys to not buy a house on an apartment building or miss out on making thousands or even millions of dollars just because you don't know how to estimate the cost or know the process of putting a roof together. First, you have to measure the roof. Contractors like to talk or communicate slash measure in square yards. Overall, 100 square feet equal one square yard. This roofing area of this subject house is 1,800 square feet. Therefore, we divide 1,800 by 100, but it equals 18 square yards. Now, here are some items you will need to install your roof. You need felt paper, you need drip edge, you need nails, plastic cap nails, shingles, and boots. And no, not those boots. You need roof vent boots. A dumpster or a dump truck, plywood, air compressor, nail gun, shears, power, electric, and a roofing contractor. Contractor pricing for labor is normally $70 to $100 a square. We're gonna use $100 for this example. The shingles alone will range from $60 a square if it's discounted to $90 a square. Now, that's regular dimensional shingles. For ex this example, we will use $90 a square. A dumpster will cost you around $500. Roof fence, uh, $25. Felt paper, $16 row, and covers about four squares, so you need five rows. So that's about 100 bucks. Then you'll need some flashing, nails, that's another $50. So total combined material and dumpster is $800. That price does not include shingles. So you take the 800 divided by 18, that'll come out to be about $44 a square. So let's just round it up to $50 a square. Wow. So your total cost per square would be around $240 a square. That includes your shingles of $90 labor at $100 a square and your material. Uh, so anything over $240, you're kind of paying retail. Now I typically pay around anywhere from $150 to $180 a square depending on the contractor skill set. Now check this out. A contractor can sell a roof for $800 to $1,000 a square depending on the complexity, if it got dormers, uh, the pitch. But look, now that you know that, let's install a roof. First, we have to climb up the ladder. Look at we going. If you ain't been up high before, this is it. All right, yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. Next, if the roof is existing, we gut the roof like this. And if it has some bad wood, we replace it. If it has bad wood, you replace it with plywood. Then you install the drip edge. Now, some roofs like this, they have old chimneys that are falling apart. You can do one or two things. Uh, if that chimney doesn't have anything venting through it like an old uh, fireplace, well, you simply could just demo that chimney, right? Or you can tuck point it and wrap it with mortar and put a chimney cap right on top of it so you can keep out the road. It's like squirrels, birds, or raccoons. Next, put the flashing around the chimney. Once we do that, we want this to look like this. Next, then we lay the felt paper. You will use these button uh, nails or the cap nails for the felt paper. Oh, and don't forget about the vent pipes. Then lay your shingles, and now you went from this to this. Now all I have to do is get down. Man. That's kind of far away down, bro. 